Well, today I put my bass gear away. Came down to the river, see if I can get a flathead catfish. Or maybe two. But I got my baits in, live sunfish, two rods are in. We're just waiting for our first bite. And it's coming. So, don't change the channel. Stick with me. I feel it. I feel it coming. This is one of my catfish rigs. I got a double, a double hook. This is for the bigger sunfish, but it's a double circle hook and uh, a three ounce sinker in this case. But it works pretty good. I've caught a few on that double, double hook here. This is the other rig I use. This is a single hook. Again, a circle hook. I think it's a, I don't even know what size it is. <laughs> anyway, a, and then a, a sinker slider. When the fish takes it, he can move off without feeling the weight of the uh, sinker. Put a bead on there to protect the knot. And I use about an 18 inch leader, maybe this might be 15. But that's a simple rig. And we're going to put a smaller sunfish on that. Now, look at this guy going. He's flying out there. Look at that. I love it when these reels turn like that. Oh, I think I can pick him up and go. Let's see what we got here. He's still there. So, and that's a small sunfish. So, let's take him. Oh yeah, there he is. There's a nice flathead. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Oh yeah. Here he comes. <laughs> and that's a pretty decent one. Yeah, that's a pretty decent one. All right. That's a good one. Let me get him under this rod. Over here. It's nice to see that uh, um, circle hook doing exactly what it's supposed to do. And right inside of his mouth. Stop it. That's not a big one. But look at that, right, right there where it's supposed to be. Believe it or not, 3.9 pounds. <laughs> but still, a flathead is a flathead is a flathead. <laughs> Back you go, dude. You know, sometimes you, as far as uh, flathead catfish go, I have a, a, a weight conversion chart based on the length of the fish. And it's amazing how a few inches can add a huge amount of weight. So for instance, uh, the one I just caught <clears throat> was probably about 20 inches and it says here it would be three. 0.48 pounds, which was about right. You get a 35-incher, 
and the weight shoots up to 21.2 pounds. Now that's 35 inches. Add one inch, 36 inches, 23.22 pounds. Add another inch, 37 inches, and it would weigh approximately 25.3 pounds. Now, the interesting part is 38 inches, 27.65 pounds. So with, within a matter of an inch, it gains about two pounds. The biggest one I got was 39 inches, and I'd figure that was right in around 30 pounds, give or take a couple ounces. So as their size increases, their weight really jumps up. With, uh, with just an inch or two in length. Kind of interesting. That's right off the uh, in, in Fisherman weight conversion chart. So there's your flat end fact of the day. This is the 8th of May. It's 46 <laughs> degrees. And we're having a little bit of a taste of early spring when it should be up around in the mid 50s by now or even 60. Yeah, it's a little chilly. I got my hood on, got long underwear on, <laughs> I got gloves. I'm ready. <laughs> got a good run on this one. Look at this reel moving. Holy crap. Holy shit, I just threw it out there. I just threw it out there. Wow. Lock it in. Start reeling. And he's on. Oh yeah, he's on. This feels like a... Oh, he dropped it. Ah, shit. Here they come! Here they come! <laughs> oh man! <laughs> 